Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on. Demon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? N nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? It was... it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it, but then he said something that pissed Rachel off, and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him, and then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then... We were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have um thank you chloe you saved my world it will be some time before rachel wakes up i promise i'll let you know when she does okay thanks Hey, Steph, how's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure.
Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Just Those guys control. look exhausted. Out. You mean it's controlled? No, it's completely out. It extinguished itself. All right, then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Oh, no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... well... guilty lately. Yeah, I I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Mikey said he feels a lot safer around you. He's been seeming a little scared these days. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Both of them. Actually, in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Chloe. Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You're serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Mayer? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Yell at him? Like, 
A lot. In a stage manager voice. That is actually pretty scary. Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Like he's entering into a cartoon contest? <laughs> I hope he wins. That's cute, I guess. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? I mean, I just played with them once. It was epic. It was a little epic. Yeah. I hate to be such a game master about it. But I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? You gotta save Elamon, right? We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, shit. I, I, I forgot I did that. Sorry. It's cool. Elamon comes around a corner to discover... Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Uh, <laughs> greetings, powerful Elamon. From whence do you run? Uh, uh, float. Or whatever. Funny you should ask. I'm being chased by an army of dragonkin. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. Well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you used your axe to cut out the key out of that dragonkin's stomach? Yeah, that was really a team effort. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on... everything. Suddenly, dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Ah, oh, 
come on. You can totally take these fuckers down. I just killed six of them. Those were scouts, Chloe. Warriors are four times that hard. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol? I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. <laughs> 20. You find a log on the ground and pick it up. Ever so slowly, you lift the idol and slide the log into its place. Sweat pours down your face. You wait, but nothing happens. No net appears to catch you. No blow darts shoot from the trees. The idol is yours. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Nice. You Indiana Jones the shit out of that. Using the idol, Elamon channels the energy of the forest. Fog sweeps in from all around, obscuring his legs. When the fog rolls out, Elamon has a brand new pair of feet. Yes, finally. Suddenly, a bony hand shoots up from the ground in front of you. Then, the undead soldier it belongs to sits up from his grave, sending dirt and pebbles flying. <laughs> Your excited shouts have woken him from his slumber. Balls. Then, the ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. You have disrupted the undead forest, an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth, bony faces grinning. Totally worth it. Run. Luckily, the undead have a very low running speed. The party flees safely. But the soldiers aren't far behind. As you near the edge of the forest, you hear the familiar boom, boom, boom of heavy footsteps. Out of the shadows and into your path steps Durgeron. Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? I'm gonna kick your ass. This is awesome. What do I do? Say something threatening. Uh, you shall not pass. I've heard you sound more threatening when ordering pizza. You got this, Drew. I mean, Dur Garan. Weak, foolish creatures. You were lucky to escape me the last time. But fortune does not shine forever. When I'm done with you, death shall seem a quiet Reprieve. <laughs> Word. I wrote that for him. <laughs> Shut up. Now remember, Durgeron is still wearing his bracer of fire immunity and is impervious to all of Elmon's battle spells. Yeah, as it should be. It's your move. I feel like Rage Slam might be good. <laughs> Bring it. Channeling your immense fury, you try to lift Durgeron into the air for a body slam. Badass style. Twelve. Uh, sixteen? Durgeron's stronger than you think. 
He reverses your grip and lifts you up, throwing you through the air easily. Ha! Bullshit! You land in an embarrassingly awkward way. Take five damage. I take it all back. This game is... dumb. I kick her while she's down. <sighs> Make that... 16... damage. Back to you. I call upon Elamon. Help enough out. Hmm. I know. I cast... Clairvoyance. What would you like to see? Durgeron's weakness. Hey, what? An image forms in your mind. You see a small, adorable gnome bard singing a sweet song in a city street. Suddenly, Durgeron appears standing over him. He snatches up the bard, carries him to the sea, and throws him like a football far into the storm-tossed currents. Immediately after, he grabs his throwing shoulder in pain. You hurt your shoulder tossing a gnome into the ocean? I don't know what she's talking about. Didn't you throw that marching band kid in the pool last week? Not that you can prove. I stab at his right side, where he can't fend me off. Come at me. She lunges for you. You try to raise your sword, but pain shoots through your arm like lightning. Her axe gets you right in the ribcage, dropping you to your knees. This one's all yours. Skull bomb. Yes. Wait, skull bomb? I ignite a very small sun inside my enemy's head. Though his bracer shields him from the heat, the gravitational force of the sun causes Durgeron's head to implode until it disappears with a bloody pop. <laughs> Finally! Whew, man. Finally? That was like two seconds. I barely got to play. Nicely done, Alamon. Uh, if Durgeron's dead, I grab his bracer. Oh, yeah. The, the bracelet of fire resistance. Bracer of fire immunity. Whatever. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush, green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. And you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have searing crystal. Perfect! Searing crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgeron's bracer of fire immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Elamon, you beat the shit out of Durgaron and took his bracelet. Bracer. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? You know what else you've never done? Given up. If either of us is going to survive, this is the only way. You're the only friend who's ever helped me. 
I, I can't leave you behind. People must be lining up to adventure with the great Elamon. You could replace me in no time. I won't just kill you. You're the only one I want to fight beside. Think of all the distressed villagers out there who need you. If you kill yourself, you're also killing them. But I, I can save everyone. I know I can. Somehow. Everyone dies sooner or later. It's okay. I can handle it. I've had a short but adventurous life. All right. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Helamon secures the Bracer of Fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the Elf Barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. Fire arcs outward in a ring. Then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe. For everything. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe, you've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? I turn to Alamon and say, Thank you. Before the flames burn me away forever. Elamon rolls not to cry. <laughs> I rolled a three. The spell comes to a spectacular climax, until all you can see is white. Then, all is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Congratulations, Alamon. You have completed Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? She's dead? And the game's over? Yep. And Elamon's left alone once again. It was fun having a companion while it lasted. Well... What if I make a new character? Wait... Really? You wanna keep playing? Sure. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Ah, oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Uh... Don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation... I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking... I'm supposed to look out for Mikey. Not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Everything about this fire. Is... 
Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by you. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist. Because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric... That... I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute. Thanks. For the message. Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You... Saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... 
I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Um, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of... happened. Uh, no. Not, not a problem at all. So... What's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm... here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah. It was insane. Holy shit. Wait, are, are you okay? Uh... I'm fine. She's fine too, by the way. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. 
Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe.